Hello everyone, this is Miss Anna and it's an English lesson. I hope you're ready to continue making your English better and better. Let's start our lesson. We've already talked a lot about libraries, books and reading. I hope you've enjoyed the lessons and learned a lot of useful words and phrases. And what about some basic knowledge? Can you guess how these words are connected? Orwell, Shakespeare, Swift, Dull, Christie, Tolkien, Rowling, Austen, Eliot, Carol, Bronte and Wolf. All these are the surnames of famous British writers. In our lessons, we've already met some of them. We've mentioned William Shakespeare and his tragedy Romeo and Juliet, Roald Dahl and his Witches and Matilda, Jane Austen and her novel Pride and Prejudice, J.R.R. Tolkien and his Hobbit, don't forget The Lord of the Rings, of course, and J.K. Rowling with her Harry Potter series. There is no doubt that the names we just mentioned are not the only ones in British literature. Oscar Wilde, William Thackeray and John Keats are some extra honorable mentions. There has been a huge amount of the authors who have helped British literature to develop and who have written lots of amazing stories. This gives us an opportunity to find the pieces of literature that will fascinate us, open new worlds to us and teach us lots of great things. British literature is literature from the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the Isle of Man, and the Channel Islands. College and university students study it as a subject, readers around the world admire the authors and their works, and the movie industry creates more and more films based on English literature. You're going to read and listen to the text about the history of the British literature. Write out the names of the authors while listening. The history of English literature is rich and fascinating. Around the first century AD, the greatest English poem, Beowulf, was created. It was written by an unknown author. In medieval times and Elizabethan era, the literature in Britain was mostly developing its poetry and drama genres. This resulted in the works of Geoffrey Chaucer and William Shakespeare, who wrote poems and drama. The 18th century literature gave a push to the development of Romanticism. It was an artistic, literary and intellectual movement that originated in Europe. This literary movement focused on emotions and individualism. You may recognize such authors as John Keats, a poet, and Walter Scott, who was a famous Scottish writer, poet and novelist. In the Victorian era, which was in the 19th century, the novel became the leading literary genre in English. Women became a great part of literature of that period, both as readers and writers. Jane Austen and the Bronte sisters created a valuable input into the development of British literature. Such recognizable writers as Charles Dickens, Herbert G. Wells, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Lewis Carroll and Oscar Wilde wrote their significant novels in that period too. The events of the early and mid-20th century and the modernist movement greatly influenced the British literature. The artists and writers started creating new forms and genres of art. This helped such subgenres as utopia, dystopia, science fiction and fantasy to appear. Such writers as George Orwell and Aldous Huxley wrote critically about society and supported democracy. And of course, J.R.R. Tolkien will always be remembered for his everlasting creations The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, which have thousands of fans around the planet. As you see, the British literature offers a variety of genres and books. Choose yours! Alright, now let's check if you have all the names on your list. Geoffrey Chaucer, William Shakespeare, John Keats, Walter Scott, Jane Austen, the Bronte sisters, Charles Dickens, Herbert G. Wells, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Lewis Carroll, Oscar Wilde, George Orwell, Aldous Huxley, J.R.R. Tolkien. Good! Now, can you match the authors with their pieces of literature? In the left column, there are the names of the books and poems. In the right column, there are the names of their authors. 
Let's check them out. Hamlet, Pride and Prejudice, Oliver Twist, The Time Machine, A Study in Scarlet, Alice in Wonderland, 1984, Jane Eyre, and the authors, Lewis Carroll, William Shakespeare, Jane Austen, Charlotte Bronte, Charles Dickens, Herbert G. Wells, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, George Orwell. Think and match. Let's check your answers now. Hamlet was written by William Shakespeare, Pride and Prejudice was written by Jane Austen, Oliver Twist was written by Charles Dickens, The Time Machine was written by Herbert G. Wells, A Study in Scarlet was written by Arthur Conan Doyle, Alice in Wonderland was written by Lewis Carroll, 1984 was written by George Orwell, and finally Jane Eyre was written by Charlotte Bronte. Well done! That's it for now. Thanks a lot for your attention. See you in the next video.